Good morning everyone. Today here we are reading loud the first unit of EVS of class 3 and Kerala syllabus. The name of the chapter is blooming and sprouting. This chapter was to be started on june 5th the environmental day today was an extremely joyful day for me and my friends we got saplings as part of the environment day celebrations i got a small kanikona i went home and showed it to my grandpa he came with me to plant it in the yard Grandpa told me about many plants tumba mukutti tarudama kurundoti i came to know the names of many plants only then there are many trees like the mango tree jackfruit tree tamarind tree coconut tree etc in the yard they were all planted by grandpa it seems my kanikuna will also grow like this i am waiting for the day it will blossom fully with golden flowers here are some questions what are the trees you have in your home yard who planted and nourished them aren't there plenty of plants and trees in our school premises too observe the premises of your school and try to write the names of plants there coconut locust hibiscus are all plants around us similar big trees like the mango tree small plants like the locust creepers that climb like the jasmine so many plants like this try to classify the plants around you on the basis of their peculiarities and write them down there are three columns first column is trees and the second column is small plants and the third column is creepers first column trees jackfruit tree mango tree second column small plants basil tulasi hibiscus third column creepers jasmine bitter gourd the bamboo lar bamboo is the largest plant in the grass family it is a fast growing plant it blossoms only once on its life span and gets destroyed completely after this each bamboo plant deposits thousands of seeds before it perishes the seeds of bamboo are known as bamboo grains these grains having medicinal value are used as food smiling blossoms i too want to want a garden a girl is thinking about a garden here are some questions for you do you have a garden at home what all type of plants do you have in your garden which of those plants blossom which is the flower you like try to draw its picture what are the flowers seen in the pictures below 
make the flowers more beautiful using suitable colors. Here is an activity to draw the picture of the flowers and to color the pictures shown below. How many of their names do you know? Try to write them. Which color did you give to the rose? Did all of you give the same color? Why did you give them different colors? Do all hibiscus plants have flowers of the same color? Haven't you seen plants that bear flowers of only one color like Lucas and Jasmine? And names of more flowers in the table below. Add names of more flowers in the table below first column plants with flowers of different colors second column plants with flowers of only one color first column plants with flowers of different colors hibiscus rose second column plants with flowers of only one color lucas jasmine here is a small girl. I like the fragrance of rose and jasmine. Try to smell flowers like the rose, jasmine, hibiscus, marigold, chendumalli, etc. As in the case of color, don't flowers have different smell too? How many plants can be identified only by the smell of the flowers. Right, right. Who am I? Don't you like the I band game? Collect fragrant flowers like rose, jasmine, chamanthi, chembagam, chindumalli, etc. The scientific and English names of these are written here. Trisanthemum, Frankipani, Marigold. Those are the three names of that three flowers. For your knowledge, the names are written in the brackets. Jamanti, Chembakam. Chendumalli. Cover the eyes of your friend with a band and ask her to smell each of the flowers. How many flowers can she identify from the smell? Here are some different types of flowers. Those that blossom at night. Flowers that blossom at night are white and fragrant. This helps fly, flies locate them at night. Queen of the night, Nishagandhi. Nishagandhi is called as the queen of the night. When Nilakurini blossoms, Nilakurini blossoms only once in 12 years. What a sight it is to see the Nilakurini blossomed all over the Nilagri hills. The giant among flowers. Here is a very big flower. Rafflesia is the biggest flower in the world. It has an approximate weight of 10 kilograms and encircles as big as an umbrella. It has foul smell. It has a very bad smell. Find out whether all plants flower. Find out whether all plants flower. Do all plants flower? Just find out. Here is a way to make flowers. Don't you see the various stages of making flowers using paper? Now try it out. There are flowers of different color, smell and size. Flowers can be identified by their smell. There are many flowers in the nature that arose 
of curiosity leaves different types the smell of each flowers flower can be identified what about leaves then which are the leaves whose smell you know try to smell leaves of different plants are you able to identify the smell can you identify the smell of leaves of plants in your locality like basil mango tree curry leaf lemon cinnamon karuvappatta ginger vetiva ramacham bitter gourd cashew nut spanish thyme panikurka etc is the smell of the leaves of each plant different leaf figures leaf is a very important part of a plant suppose all of you pluck a leaf each how many leaves will the plant lose hence let us do an activity using fallen leaves collect leaves of four or five different types of plants is the shape of all the leaves you collect the same compare the mango leaf with the jack leaf what is the different in the shape collect the leaves fallen from different mango trees are in their shapes the same are the shapes the same are they just find out beautify the leaf pictures by coloring them there are some pictures of the leaves given in the right hand side of the textbook color them with appropriate colors plants can be identified by the shape of their leaves the shape of leaves of different plants is different plants can also be identified by the smell of the leaves living things here are some objects here are some pictures of some objects and living beings some of them are living beings some of them are just things what are the objects seen in the picture name all the objects seen in the picture pick out the living and non living things in it find the living and non living things in your surroundings and tabulate them first column is living things and the second column is non living things what all are the peculiarities of living and non living things do you know complete the table given below first column peculiarities of the living second column peculiarities of the non living first column peculiarities of the living grow second one new ones are formed those were the peculiarities of the living things second column peculiarities of the non living do not move do not respond do not take food all living things grow food is required for their growth don't be grow by taking food similarly food is required for the growth of plants too don't be cook food in our house in the kitchen plants prepare their food in their leaves their prepared food is used for the growth they the remaining food is stored by the plant in its different parts we use this as our food see the pictures of some plants we use for food identify each one's name from the box and note down here are some pictures a name as written below wheat that is the picture of a wheat field 
here on the right side of the textbook you can see some names rice papaya guava carrot beetroot tapioca radish prepare an album of pictures of plants that we use for food we use the leaf flowers and fruit of moringa for food do we use all parts of all plants for food complete the table given below first column flower onion moringa second column fruit papaya pumpkin third column leaf amaranthus cassia tora fourth column stem amaranthus taro fifth column tuba tapioca sweet potato germinates when sown haven't you seen plants sprouting out haven't you seen the mango seed coconut and others sprouting out seeds germinate to form new plants let us also try germinating seeds fill a flower pot with soil wet the soil bury a few pea seeds a little low in the soil observe the seedling sprouting out what are the changes seen examine the various stages of germination of the pea seed you can see the root of the pea plant sown in the flower pot let us conduct an experiment to see the root coming out to see the root place some wet cotton in a glass vessel put 3 or 4 pea seeds in it observe daily don't forget to wet the cotton daily observe the changes in the pea seed every day and note them down in the environment diary the seed germinates it grows into leaf flowers and fruit new plants are formed from the seed in the fruit examine the process of the formation of plants from seed and seed from plant did you understand the significance of seed shouldn't such a very significant seed be protected see how plants protect seeds here are some pictures there are fruits with only one seed and fruits with many seeds which is the smallest seed you have seen and the biggest examine the seeds of fruits and vegetables we use for food here is the end of part 1 hope you all read the textbook with the audio thank you soon we will update the second part of the first unit of the third standard hopefully have a very nice day